Welcome to Quoting with Aegis General. Quoting with us is quick and easy. And for this demonstration, I will be showing you an owner-occupied, manufactured home. From the Quotes tab, enter the zip code for the risk you'd like to insure, and select the line of business from the drop-down. Today we're quoting a manufactured home. You may select the effective date and expiration date for the risk at this time. Select New Quote. On the Insured Info tab, you'll enter the first and last name for the insured. Please note you may enter an individual, trust or estate, business or corporation or LLC as well. Any field with a red bar is a required field. Enter the date of birth. And you may enter an email address if you have that information as well, it is not required. Enter the street address for the insured's mailing address. As you tap through the address, the system will attempt to verify this information. If this is correct, select use this address. If this is not correct and you want to continue entering manual information, select continue. Otherwise, this will pre-fill the remaining information needed and select continue. The unit summary tab will launch and you'll immediately begin creating a new unit. Today we're writing an owner-occupied risk, so we'll select this radio link to use the same address as the mailing address, tab through the address, and the system again will verify what has been entered. We'll select use this address, and then select the occupancy. If you're unsure of the information you're selecting, we do have information hover icons available throughout the quoting process for that. Enter the model year, and select your loss settlement options. We have actual cash value and replacement cost available on most of our policies. Today we'll be writing actual cash value. Replacement cost is available on many of our products up to 40 years. The 360 value tool will automatically launch. This tool is designed to save you time when estimating the value for the risk that you're looking to insure, also to provide you with a more accurate value for the risk you're looking to insure. Let's select the configuration. If you are unsure, we do have information icons you may select for brief definitions and examples of the information to be placed in those fields. You want to enter as many details as possible. We're looking to get a very accurate quote here. If there are upgrades to the original risk, you may select that information uh, with this particular drop-down. Select Continue. Enter any additional structures. For today, we're going to say there are none and select Calculate Now. The replacement cost for the risk has been valued at just over 58000 and the actual cash value just over twenty-three. If you'd like pricing research for this specific area or market value details, we do have extra links that you may select for that. Otherwise, select Done Here, Return to Quote, and your dwelling attributes is now pre-filled. Uh, that actual cash value that was generated pre-fills the space here. You may change this figure um, plus or minus a few thousand dollars here. We're going to make this an even 25000 the protection class is pre-filled for us. Square footage is pre-filled from that 360 valuation. Enter the make for the risk and enter the model if you have that and select continue. On the unit eligibility tab, simply go through the questions listed. There are only four here. Is the house on stilts? Located in a park? Does the applicant owner board any animal that has bitten or caused injury? If this answer is yes, this would give the opportunity for the system to apply an animal injury exclusion to the policy you're attempting to write. Does the applicant own any golf carts they wish to insure? For today's example, we are going to select no. However, should the insured have golf carts to insure, Aegis General will allow up to three golf carts for the specific policy. Select continue. Discount and Charge Verification tab. 
Again, only four questions. How many months is the unit rented to others? For this example, we will select zero. However, we do allow uh, one to four months on an owner-occupied risk or seasonal risk that the risk is rented to others. That would allow for us to apply a short-term rental surcharge to the policy. This is perfect for your insureds with Airbnb. Five months or greater, we would want you to write a rental policy. We'll leave this set to zero. Does the home have a supplemental heat source? Again, today we are selecting no. If you are unsure what Aegis General considers to be a supplemental heat source, the information hover icon will provide those details. How many losses has the applicant had at this location in the past three years where over $500 was paid? For today's example, we're saying zero. However, please note Aegis General will allow up to two losses where over $500 was paid out within the last three years, as long as those losses are not fire, theft, or liability. And was the unit purchased within seven days of the effective date? For today, we're going to say yes. However, if this answer is no, please note the questionnaire does expand for additional information. Select continue. On the coverage limits, you would specify the limits the insured is looking to insure on their risk. Note that coverage A is grayed out. This cannot be changed from this tab as it was entered on the dwelling attributes page. If there are unattached structures the insured wishes to insure, you may enter those values here. Also, you can go back to the 360 value tool so that the system may generate a value for you. Personal property uh, coverage is automatically set to just about 40% of coverage A. This can be entered up to 50,000 or 100% of your coverage A limit, whichever is greater. Loss of use is set at 10% of coverage A and may be increased to 20%. Personal liability must be manually selected. Uh, we do allow the opportunity to opt out of this coverage or up to 300,000 is available. Medical coverages to others, I'm sorry, medical payments to others, 500 up to 5,000, this is fairly standard and your all other perils deductible uh, is packaged at $1,000. It may be lowered to 500 or increased to 2,500. Wind tornado hurricane hail deductible is preset and grayed out at 1,000. If you have questions about this coverage, just hover over the icon for additional information. Replacement cost coverage selection, we have it preset to what we selected under the uh, property info and personal property replacement cost coverage is available on our manufactured home product. For today, we'll select yes. Review that there is, uh, if there is scheduled personal property coverage um, and earthquake coverage. Select finish. The system will take you back to the unit summary tab where you can review the address for the risk that is to be insured if changes need to be made, you may select edit unit. Otherwise, please read the report ordering disclosure to your insured and select continue. With our report ordering, we do use the insured's name and date of birth in order to pull third party reports like credit and loss history. If any information is found on the clue reporting, that will be indicated as you move on to the application process. On the premium tab, this is showing you the quote that was generated. You may print this quote out for your records. Also, you may print and notice if it is generated, um, notating that the premium is immediately impacted by any information found on third party reports. Please note this is not the third party reports. You may expand this space below to see a breakdown of the limit selections and premiums, as well as discounts applied to the risk. Review the bill options available. In many of our states, we'll write up to 11 installments. This particular example is Pennsylvania, where we allow up to eight payments. Also, escrow billing is available. Auto pay, you may begin the enrollment process starting on this page. Otherwise, when selecting your payment arrangements, set your current plan and renewal plan to the same payment option to review the due dates for those payments. These due dates are generated based on the effective date selected for this policy. At this point, you may continue to the application or save for later. 
Should you choose to save for later, just enter the insured's name and their telephone number. Select Save. And your quote is now saved. You have a quote number and the system will immediately show you the total amount that would be due for this quote. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials and future content from Aegis General.